Young Sprouts. Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, what's really out there? Stars, planets, and mysteries floating in endless space. Let's explore the universe together, one incredible fact at a time. Welcome aboard, space explorers. From burning stars to frozen moons, from giant storms to floating tears, we're about to uncover the wildest facts in our universe. Are you ready to blast off? Did you know that space is completely silent? That's because there's no air out there to carry sound waves like we have on Earth. So even if you screamed as loud as a rocket, no one would hear you. That's why astronauts use radios to talk, not their voices. Can you believe the sun is a whopping 93 million miles away from Earth? That's super far, more than 3,000 times the length of India. But here's the crazy part, even though it's so far, the sunlight still reaches us in just about 8 minutes. That's faster than anything we've ever built. Light travels at lightning speed, literally. Neutron stars are one of the most extreme things in space. They're incredibly small, only about the size of a city, but so dense that a single spoonful of their material would weigh as much as a mountain. That's because all their atoms are packed tighter than anything we can imagine. It's like squeezing the weight of the entire Earth into a ball the size of a city. In space, astronauts actually get a little taller. Without gravity pulling down on their bodies, their spines stretch out. This can make them up to two inches taller than they were on Earth. But don't worry, it's not permanent. Once they return, gravity brings them back to their normal height. Still, it's one of the coolest effects of living in zero gravity. We often think of the moon as a calm, silent place, but it actually shakes. These are called moonquakes, and they're just like earthquakes on Earth. Some are caused by meteor hits, while others are triggered by temperature changes or even tidal forces from Earth. In fact, some moonquakes can last up to 10 minutes, much longer than earthquakes back home. Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, spins super slowly. A single day on Mercury, meaning one full rotation on its axis, takes about 59 Earth days. That means if you stood on Mercury, you'd wait nearly two months just to see the sun rise and set once. Talk about a long, slow day. Even though Venus is farther from the sun than Mercury, it's actually the hottest planet in our solar system. That's because Venus has a super thick atmosphere full of carbon dioxide, which traps heat like a giant blanket. It creates a runaway greenhouse effect, making Venus even hotter than Mercury, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Jupiter is like the king of the solar system, and it has an entire royal court, 95 moons orbiting around it. That's more than any other planet. And get this, one of Jupiter's moons, called Ganymede, is even bigger than the planet Mercury. It's the largest moon in the whole solar system. So big, it even has its own magnetic field. Saturn's rings might look like a smooth, shiny disk from far away, but they're actually made of millions of tiny pieces of ice and rock. These chunks range in size from tiny pebbles to giant boulders. The rings are wide, but they're super thin. Some parts are just a few meters thick. They float around Saturn in perfect patterns, like a cosmic dance. When we think of tall mountains, we usually picture Mount Everest on Earth. But the tallest mountain in the entire solar system is actually on Mars. It's called Olympus Mons, and it's about three times taller than Everest. It's so huge that if you stood at the base, the top would curve out of sight because of Mars' round shape. Far beyond our solar system, there's a mysterious planet called 55 Cancri E, and scientists believe it could be covered in diamonds. That's because it's rich in carbon, and under extreme pressure and heat, carbon can turn into solid diamond. Imagine an entire world that glows and shines like a precious gem in the dark universe. It might sound like a delicious dream, but scientists discovered that the center of our Milky Way galaxy might actually smell like raspberries and rum. Deep in a dust cloud near the middle of the galaxy, they found a molecule called ethyl formate, the same chemical that gives raspberries their fruity smell and rum its rich flavor. Space isn't just vast, it's surprisingly flavorful too. Every planet in our solar system, except one, is named after a powerful god from Roman or Greek mythology. Mars is the god of war, Venus is the goddess of love, and Jupiter is the king of the gods. But Earth is different. Its name comes from Old English and German words meaning the ground or the soil. It's the only planet not named after a mythological figure. 
maybe because it's the one we know best. The moon might look like it's staying still, but it's actually drifting away from Earth, little by little, at about 1.5 inches every year. That's about the same speed as your fingernails grow. Scientists discovered this using special mirrors placed on the moon during the Apollo missions. Don't worry though, it would take billions of years for the moon to move far enough to really change things here on Earth. Mars may look calm in pictures, but it's home to the biggest dust storms in the entire solar system. These massive storms can grow so large, they cover the whole planet, and they can last for weeks. The dust gets lifted high into the sky by fast winds, blocking sunlight and changing temperatures across Mars. It's like a giant planet-sized sandstorm. When you see a comet in the night sky, it often has a long glowing tail. But did you know the tail doesn't trail behind it like smoke from a rocket? Instead, a comet's tail always points away from the sun, no matter which direction the comet is traveling. That's because of the solar wind, streams of charged particles from the sun that push the gas and dust away, forming that bright tail. When astronauts walked on the moon during the Apollo missions, they left behind footprints in the gray dust. But here's something amazing, those footprints are still there, and they'll likely stay for millions of years. That's because the moon has no air, no wind, and no rain. Without weather to wear them away, those prints just sit there, frozen in time. In space, even crying is different. Without gravity to pull them down, your tears won't roll off your cheeks like they do on Earth. Instead, they stick to your face and form floating little bubbles. Astronauts have to wipe them away gently, or the tears just keep growing into a wobbly ball of water right in their eyes. The sun might seem huge to us, but in the universe, it's actually quite average. There are stars out there called supergiants, and they're absolutely massive, up to 1,000 times larger than our sun. One of the most famous is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant that would reach all the way to Jupiter if it replaced our sun. These stars burn bright, live fast, and explode in powerful supernovas. Try to imagine every grain of sand on every beach on Earth. Now multiply that by a lot. That's still not even close to how many stars are out there in space. Scientists estimate there are more than a trillion trillion stars in the universe. That's a number so big, it's almost impossible to picture. Space isn't just big, it's mind-blowingly infinite. The universe is full of mysteries, and we've only scratched the surface. Keep wondering, keep exploring, and always look up. Who knows what you'll discover next?